Hello fluffy people of the world, my name is Liquid Blitz and welcome back to Notepad Souls 2. Okay. Let's break out this list like lightning fast. Okay. Stuff learned since last episode. Fog sucks ass, invisible ass. Big fucking suck ass, okay? And I've got a couple of remedies that might help the ghost situation. Okay, Shrine of Winter slash Drang Lake opened early. Apparently, I shouldn't have been able to get through that door. And the only reason I did was because I had over a million souls this game, like this playthrough. I've made the right decision by not going through to the castle. Uh, anyway, big weapons can be aimed. Like, apparently that's why I'm missing a lot of my um, attacks, because I've learned you can sort of steer the attack towards the end of the animation. Interesting. Big Bug Lady is friendly and apparently repairs your weapons if you're standing in the mist. I mean, I'm glad I didn't kill her. There's a lesson there, that's why you don't kill friendly bugs. Or friendly anything. Okay, the to-do list of this episode. Check Black Gulch for illusory walls or places to drop down. When I found that Lucatiel drop path, I was actually looking at something in the distance, so there's probably something I've missed back there. Um, now, yeah, I did think, and this this tip came from myself, I thought of this myself. The Jester chest piece that I never bought negates backstabs and critical hits, and the ghosts, the very last thing that happened last episode was I got, like, double backstabbed or some shit. So if I can stop them from backstabbing me, I might stand a better chance. Remaining block paths none, uh, remaining places to go. Drang Lake Castle, complete everything before going here, um, and then a couple of the, the DLC pools. Um, and just, I've added remaining locked doors section. There's two king doors, which I still haven't got a way of opening. There's one in the forest castle and one behind me like, near the shaded woods area. There's the locked nondescript door near the alien queen in um, the gutter. And then just the locked DLC door behind the old Iron King. And that is that, so let's get back into game. I told you it'd be lightning fast this episode. And here we are. I've equipped, um, like I suggested last episode, I've equipped the weaker arrows in place of the medium ones. Just so I've got 30 projectiles to shoot at shit. Um, I've got zero souls, so nothing else needs doing. Let's just go to uh, Black Gulch again, I guess. And see if I did miss anything. Um... I did think of maybe equipping the 100% shield for the ghost, so I've got s some protection, um, and I can sort of sit there taking hits. Uh, and I thought of maybe lighting my torch, I thought it might illuminate them a bit better, maybe? So I've got a couple of tactics to try and see the ghosts a bit better. Um, anyway, for now, let's just ransack the Black Gulch. Uh, I never did give it a proper once-over. I probably should have, actually, you know. When I, um, like, before I summoned Lucatiel to do the boss, and after I destroyed all the statues. Because I'm guessing here, all the statues are going to be back again. Which kind of sucks for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're all back. There, there is shit, like, the hole up there. Like, did I... Whoa! A calm down, hand snake. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, invaded by dark spirit... Woodland child... Gully, I've already killed this motherfucker. Uh, okay, I've got a repeat invader. Oh god, this fucker's still coming at me. Uh, oh god. I can't even see, dude. It's too, it's too zoomed in. <laughs> it doesn't matter, though. Wee! Oh no, no, bad, bad. I, I'm, I'm chain trying to roll out the way here. The fuck? Dude, I'd love to know where the fuck this guy came from. I can't see shit. It's too it's too zoomed in, man. Get away from me. What the fuck's with the camera in this place? Ow. Fuck you. Right. Cannot use bonfire. What the what the fuck's happening, man? We've had repeat invaders like well, uh, like, you know what, it gave me a free effigy and a few thousand souls. Uh, now, isn't it true? Um, hang on, fucking hell, I wasn't expecting so much shit. Let's read that shield. 
We've had repeat invaders in different places, like Forlorn in multiple different places. That's the first invader I've had a repeat in the same spot, which is weird. Look at that fucking thing. Look at that. It's like the... Random reference. That kind of looks like the chunk of wood that Rose is floating on at the end of Titanic. Very similar. That's, that's fucking height. Have you seen how much high damage that is? 200 damage. That's about the same damage as my Zweihander. Read the description. Shield of the Knights, who long ago attempted to conquer the undead crypt. They bore no weapons, only a shield split into left and right halves. That explains that. Which they used to playfully crush their foes until their corpses were needed beyond recognition. Oh my god, these knights are needing people like dough. The engraving depicts two messengers from the hereafter who welcomed the recently dead by reviewing the merits of their deeds in life. Well, that sounds some like some evil shit. Right, okay. Anywhere to go? I mean... Uh, the, the fire is right here. We're giving this place a proper once-over. There's, there's clearly no illusory walls in here. I kind of, I probably sound like I'm rushing. I want to get back to the Shaded Woods as fast as possible in this episode. If you see what I'm saying. Uh, well, there's nowhere to fucking jump unless... Hello, that's starting to look jumpable down there. In fact, there's a body down there, like a lootable looking body, just with no loot on it. Um. So yeah, I kind of want to buy the Jester chess piece, um, but it, they are quite expensive, I think. Oh, hello. That is a place to drop down there. That's not the Luca Teal place. Oh, dude, these, these things are resistant to magic, aren't they? <laughs> They're not resistant to a club, though. Fucking hell. Oh, shit! Oh! This worm is angry now. Hello? Oh, I've pissed him off. He wasn't pissed off before, like his brother. No! I wanted to be friendly with at least one worm. Ooh! Ooh, calm down, sir. You made me do it. Right, okay, we've cleared. Fucking hell, you little shit. Fuck you. I think I got it wrong. I think this actually is the, uh, the Lucatiel drop down. Um, well, I've cleared the wormy bitches. Let's go relight my torch. As I'm running around looking for shit, that reminds me. Last episode. I don't know if it was just that one episode, but I kept thinking my audio was too quiet. I actually raised it in the edit. Um, so I'm actually going to bump my sound effects up. Music is fine, but I want sound effects up by one, and I'm tempted to lower. I've got to turn my ear volume down, but uh, I'm tempted to lower voice by one as well, but for now that's fine. Uh, let me know if this episode is now too loud. <laughs> It, sh it should be okay. Why the fuck did I just rest and respawn everything? Why? There was no need for that. Now I've got to do all the same shit again. Oh, right. Okay. Sorry, I'm... Yeah. Uh, I, I, I actually thought this was the Lucatil drop down, and I was going back down it again just to see if there was an illusory wall I missed. And it's not that path at all. I thought it wasn't. I, I was doing the mathematics and the geometry in my head, and I, I figured we were too far down this direction to uh, to for it to be the same drop down. And it isn't. I got a door. Hello. It's locked. Understood. This looks identical to the gutter door that's locked up near the alien queen. It's like up to the left of the, the alien queen. Um, and it looks exactly like this door, like an arch. I'm guessing I get a key at some point that probably unlocks both. Well, I'm trapped down here now. <laughs> I, can't, uh, 
I think somebody told me earlier in the in the comments, earlier in the playthrough, that there's never a place that you officially have to home bone out unless it's like a bug. <coughs> um, so I must be able to keep going. Here's that body I saw. Yeah? We, okay. We found something. Yeah. Let's keep the torch up so I can fucking see. Trust my instincts. Okay. There's no way there's going to be an illusory wall on these random walls. Hello? What the fuck am I looking at? What the fuck am I looking at? Torch down. They say no time for torches. What the fuck is that? It's too dark, man, and it's massive. It's fucking massive. It's a battle rug. There's more than one. Whatever it is, there's more than one. We've got more than one, ladies and gentlemen. What the fuck is this? Okay, now. Um, let's get some spells on the go. Oh my god, they're huge. Uh, they're fucking huge. They're fucking huge. Can I get some magic? How? Uh. I can't see. Round the corner. Round the corner, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, right, magic is useless. Can I run past them and get into the room they were in? Hello? How dark is that? Can I, like... Do I have any light sources that are tossable on the floorable? I know I've got, like, some things, like... So I, th I was thinking, like, bright bugs. So some, just a source of light I can toss down. It makes light prism stone? I mean... Literally, I might want to. Fuck it, let's just add it to the list. I've only got three, but... I'm sure I can buy some from a vendor. I'm just gonna, uh... What the fuck are these things? Um... And why is there two? Right. Let's just toss one down here in the corner of the thing. Oh, that's not fucking any light at all. It makes light my ass. I've seen more light come out of my ass. Right, okay, let's take a quick look. I might want to fight in this big fucking room here. Yeah, okay. Um, running attacks, I'm feeling. I'm feeling the running attacks. Uh, oh, you know what I've noticed? I've only got one on me. I can't even see the fucking health. Uh, how many? Right, okay, fucking hell. I've actually got souls to lose now as well. Oh, it backs up. Okay, I can cheese this. Uh, sorry to say. <laughs> if I just back off to that entrance. I mean, I could just fucking spell him. Dude, right, okay, one at a time if we can. Let's just start spelling that one on the right. You know what? That's actually high damage. Um, for a big fuck. I, can I kill him in one go? <gasps> just one more after this. One final one. Oh, I need new pants. Dude, he got fucking close. Y you know what? Um, oh, you know what, actually, I, um, let's put on my item discovery ring again for the poison, because they might drop something really cool. Um, are these, um, the same as the last giant? I guess that wasn't the last giant, ironically, because these look very similar to that first boss, I thought. Except the, that one was skinnier and weaker looking. These are fucking, like, proper tough looking. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, now. <laughs> oh, they've got some fucking range. You little bastard. <gasps> fucking hell! That's some fucking range. I need to stop underestimating the range. Let's run past him. Fucking hell. Dude, they've got like 360 attacks. That's some bullshit. I'm 
can fucking see. Oh god. I'm hoping there isn't another one, by the way. Or I'm fucked. Because I'm in the room with them now. Come on. Dude, I'm so far, I can't even lock on, man. Oh, bad. This is bad, 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 bad. That's my bad. Fucking run away, you stupid idiot. Oh my god. I'll go. Get him to attack and then run away. You see, this... This is why I went hybrid, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh! I got a key. Soul of a giant and a forgotten key. Whoa, whoa, camera. Uh, right, my lights turned red, it was green. When my camera, when my light bar turns a different color, it means something weird has happened to my controls. Was that like another boss soul then? It can't have been. Every boss soul has had a boss, like, health bar, you know? There's the last giant soul, the very first boss of this game. So was that just a fucking lie, then? Because that was... A, I just got a soul of a, gi a giant, and this purports to be the last giant. Bullshit. Soul of a giant. No? Is it a different item? Oh. Oh, it's down there with your special items, the Pharos lock key, the branches, the, uh, the respec item. Soul of a giant, the soul possessed by a giant. Da -da 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 -da, who came to conquer Drang Lake. Will the giant's resentment for the king be pacified in death or only emboldened? Can be used to acquire souls. What? All the other proper souls say... Numerous souls, or to create something of great worth. Right. Okay, you know what's throwing me? The comma. Can be used to acquire souls. Pause. Only... Dot, 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 dot. That do It could be a translation error, but that doesn't say can be used to acquire souls only. It says it can be used to acquire souls. Comma. Only. And then it's like it's missing a description. Ain't right, I'm not using that for souls. Fucking hell. No way. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use one of my bugs at uh, things. I need fucking light. If that was with all your other souls in the list, I might seriously consider actually getting some souls, but... It's with the special items. There's no fucking way. I like how long those prism stones last, by the way. They, they suck balls for actually emitting light, but it's a nice um, breadcrumb, if you see what I'm saying, so you don't lose where you are. Alright, that's an elevator. Elevator spotted immediately. Oh, it goes up. To, it goes up to a fucking shooting gallery of motherfuckers. Uh, right, okay. Elevator and there's a loot in that pot. Anything else? Please don't be a trap. I think somebody commented uh, that you can tell which are mimics. I can't fucking tell which are mimics. Um, give it one hit. Anything good? Ring of Giants plus one and a dragon upgrade -y boy. Okay. That was the plus one of the other one. They're so heavy, though. Oh, more poise. Okay. Right, okay. Um, I don't want to put the torch away. Funnily enough. Uh, oh, I've got to. I've got to. Because I need to uh, do this shit. I am not going up in the elevator to get fucking shot. The 
This is why I equipped the 30 weaker soul arrows again. For exactly this kind of thing. Fox egg. There we go. Right. Any more obvious ones? There you go. Fuck. Right. That's most of them. There, there is one there. Let's, uh... Do one of those. And those. And I bet we can jump over there. Uh, I'm gonna have to use a magic spell regain thing. <laughs> Silver talisman times four. I haven't used any of those yet. These things. Transform. Shall I use one of those? Just to see what it does. I'll wait till we're somewhere safe. Okay. Please, please don't hit the invisible wall. I don't know what dictates hitting of that invisible shit. It just seems to do that. Huh? There you go. Right, have I... Fucked them all up, I have. Okay, um... Okay. Oh. Right, okay. I could just walk around it. I think I've got everything. Let's go. If I get shot at now, it's bullshit. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Uh, this has to be somewhere new or those I'd have seen this place before. Would those guys have all shot me and poisoned me on the, on the way up? That's bullshit. Little bastards. So I've got a nice ring, and I did get a key. I wonder if it fits in that door. Let's go back down. The fun way. I love me a good, sort of, Iron Maiden sort of trap fucking elevator. Right, okay, here's the door. No, it isn't. It's... <laughs> Oops. I've been unsure what the fuck to put points in now. Uh, I did think about equip load, because I still can't equip my sword and the club and be underweight. You know? So... Uh, See, so yeah, I could easily and happily put a couple more points into equip load just so I can start equipping more shit. I still like if I put a chest piece on overweight. A second weapon, overweight. Like, it's a bit of a pain. So I might sink a few points into equip load. Right. Moment of truth. Oh, it is. Nice. Use forgotten key. I bet this key works. It's an identical door in the gutter. Cool. I guess we'll get to the... I just, like, had a mini heart attack. I just saw a face in the darkness. It's fucking Dumbledore. Okay. Hello, Dumbledore. What are you doing? Oh, you're sad. That's the saddest face I've ever seen. It, it does proper look like a Dumbledore Gandalf looking Merlin looking guy. Hello there! Ah, look how far this undead has wandered. How are you doing? And a very fit undead you are. Thank you. A bit too alive, but with a darkish shadow. Yet still unprepared for a deeper dark. Is this like a dark teacher? And like every undead, you have no future. That's a wheelchair. Oh my, don't mind me. I'm just talking amongst myself. But if you find a need for a truer dark, then meet again. We shall. Is this like the primary teacher for dark spells in the game or something? The dark is still nascent within you. May the dark shine your way. That don't make no sense, dude. The dark is... Oh. The I wonder if... Right, either he's going to teleport once I've left this area, or I need, like, a higher faith or something. The dark. Okay, well, nice to meet you, sir. Um, there's nothing around here. All good. It's just this guy in a little hole. Right, let's get back to the gutter door. I... I think the very first bonfire is probably the fastest way to get there in the gutter. Um, 
Mm. But I'm not losing these souls. There's probably going to be a boss behind that door or some shit. Bearer of the... Bearer Seek Seek list. I'm actually happy with the health, stamina. The health is a problem only when it's a problem. Does that make sense? Like, if you get good enough with evasion and stuff, it's, it's never been that big a deal to me, really. I've had very few cases where my health was a real problem. And everything else, I've got kind of enough strength and dex at this point, sort of. So yeah, let's just put some points in. Cool. Right, okay. I mean, while I've got souls, that, I'm probably going to die at some point very soon and lose my souls. So do I want to just... Long away. Well, I've a... No interest. Fire resist so. ring. I never did buy it. I noticed last episode. Uh, Hello. Is it her? It is. Right, yeah, I never bought it. So let's just buy two of these rings. Just so I've always got them. One, and I'll get the lightning defense. Solid. Anything else? I want to get rid of every soul <laughs> that I've got. Uh, Surely this key is going to work on this door. I think I'm making a good... Oh, look how well lit the fucking place is. Ain't that a thing of beauty? Distant light everywhere. That's fuck. Look at this. Look at this. What a good job I did last episode. It's beautiful. I probably missed a, a sconce or two, but, it, you know, it's fine. That's a thing of fucking beauty. Definitely, yeah, now I'm thinking about it even more. The equip load thing is actually what is really holding me back to the point where I haven't even been able to equip all the rings I would like to because some of the rings are heavier. Shit like that. It would be nice to equip a full armor set, you know? Right. Uh, hang on, there's something still spitting at my ass. Yeah, there is. Oh, it's through there. Right, I was... I was right. It is uh, an... It's the identical door. It is right. Okay. What's here? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um. Right. Should I resign myself to being poisoned here and just go and ape shit? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm so gonna get poisoned. That's the. Now, do I take da extra damage when I get hit again? Mm. Let's just commit. This is ridiculous, man. I don't like how you get stumbled when you get hit, though. That's a problem. Hang on, let's get the item. So I've always got it. Havels. Everything. A full armor set, including shield. Now that stuff from the first game was super heavy. Like, ridiculously heavy. Havel's armor. Armor as if hewn from a giant boulder. Offers stupendous defense but weighs a ton. The original name of Havel is not clear. Some say it was the warrior who wore the armor, but others say that it was the name of a great kingdom ruined in a barbaric war. Wasn't Havel... We had the full armor set in the first game. Wasn't it actually an NPC that you killed as well? Or am I remembering that wrong? I might be wrong, but I'm sure Havel was the guy at the bottom of that shortcut tower in the in the uh, basin garden area. Right, okay, well thanks for that. Okay, I think we're good to just go straight back to Shaded Woods now. 
So, uh, is there a fast way back? Yes, there is. <laughs> yes, there is. You know what? We are good to go back. Um, and I've just realized and remembered the Jester chest piece. Uh, I don't know how the expensive the Jester pieces were, but I, I will no doubt have to kill shit to get back to that trader, so I'll have enough souls. Now, where the fuck <laughs> was he? Uh, stop dancing and click singing. Uh, where the fuck? Was it the first one? It's over the bridge. Inside. Yeah, it is right. Okay. Okay. Should I just go balls deep and try and get some of this fire loot from here and now? I already have flash sweat. Flash sweat. I've got the fire defense ring and I've got my dragon bone weapon which has fire defense. Fuck it. Let's do it. You know? Fuck it. The time is nigh. Let's let's do this. Fuck it. Uh, da -da -da -da. Assume spells. I need to put flash sweat on. Da -da -da. I've bought the fire ring. That can go on in place of the souls. There it is. Fire defense. But what about armor and stuff? I've got plenty of weight now. Extra weight since I've taken off the other weapons. So. Any good fire defense? 36, 42, 78. Ooh. Black Witch. Oh, hell yes. 31. Oh, hang on. Uh, penal Mask has more. 21, 25. Ooh, the Black Witch set is fucking good for fire. And kind of everything. Let's do this smart. Right, okay. I'm not going to go human because that would be stupid, wouldn't it? That would just be stupid. Alright, come at me. It's been a while since I've killed these motherfuckers. Right, um... I mean, once you're over there, you're just fucked. I tell you, while I've got some souls, and the, the, the trader is basically right here, let's quickly just kill the fuckers and go buy that chest piece. I might need like another thousand Finally souls. Decided. Finally decided to come and pay a visit to my farm. See the pigs and cows. Yes. 3,000. Nullifies foes critical hits. So let's kill a motherfucker. I mean, to be fair. I don't have to kill him. I've got several souls items. Uh, choose one of those. Perfect. 1,000 souls. Well, you... Me indeed. Let's, uh, buy the chest piece. Yes. The spiked stuff has no use. Okay. Cheers. Chair, thank you. You've quite unusual take. Anything you to say? No similar to here. You should like these. What? What the fuck? Ark? Now he's repeating himself again. Fire spouted from the earth. Fire spouted from the earth and turned this place to. Oh. I skipped through that, but that was an interesting little bit of story. Right, kindly fax me an explanation of what the fuck. I just, I saw, my brain computed immediately what item that was. It was a plus one of the item discovery ring. The fuck. You know one thing I don't like is how the better versions of things have less durability and more weight. Either way, I've got a fucking awesome ring now. Yeah. Okay. Let's min-max here. I don't have water on hand, I believe. There's no water pots. So I've only got my spell. Uh. Oh, I can't do it. Does it require um, a chimey that like not a staff? Basically, I think it does, because I haven't done a faith f spell yet in this game. <laughs> uh, chime. Well, let's just put in your priestly chime, eh? Oh, can I not use any? Am I like too low for some of this shit? Eighteen. Oh fuck, I'm too low to do any spells. 
I didn't even fucking consider that. The lowest chime is 18 faith. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuck. Is there any, like, shield? I mean, that's a shield as well, but it's only shields that can do a... a, a faith spell. I don't know. Um, I didn't consider you needed the requirement of not just the spell, but the actual fucking weapon itself. Oh, God. Oh, they're both chimes. Hang on, that's... Uh, we've, we've still got hope. Um, fucking... Get them both out. Please, Jesus. Ten faith is, is not outside the bounds of reason. What's my, um... Faith? Far. It's still so far, though. God damn. Oh, my God. That's even worse. Um, five. That's five full levels. That's like 130,000 souls. It's, it's more than it sounds at this point. And it's even 10 faith is miles away from being a possibility. I mean, I wonder what my chances are with armor and the ring. It might be enough. Well, I'm committed now. I mean, let's just try. I mean, this is a proper... Although, hang on a second. Huh. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. The middle platform has no fire. Right. I bet I still take too much damage, though. <laughs> Why are these rocks immune to the heat? <laughs> and that one is... Oh, God, this is just... All right. Okay, okay, just just go for it. Sometimes in life you got to go for it. And sometimes in life, you, uh, when you go for it, you just fucking fail. Like a baby back bitch. Let's just get in line. You don't need a long run up. In fact, let's get the furthest distance on the fire platform I can possibly get. <laughs> My health is just getting lower and lower here. But I took some good fire damage there. I'm happy with the fire damage. I need to properly line this shit up. I'm gonna pop two life gems. I know, I know. I'm gonna jump from further back this time, so I've gotta fucking run up on the second jump. Stop laughing at me. I can hear you. Or see you. I can see into your soul. You're thinking, what a fucking fool this man is. What a bell sniff, basic bitch this guy is. Can't even make a simple jump. Can't even step backwards correctly. Look at my health. And I'm gonna waste two life gems. Just to upset you. <laughs> Alright. One. Oh, these are slow. Right, sorry. I thought I'd be able to use them. Right, okay. <laughs> Biggest late waste of three life gems ever? Maybe. We'll come back in the future. Once I'm done with the shaded woods. You know, maybe uh, I killed a boss, maybe I've leveled up faith to 10, maybe I've got a chime, maybe I can do flash sweat, and then maybe I'll fucking not suck balls. Let's do this. Yeah, here we go. I'm gonna start human, by the way. We're, we're starting fucking strong. Especially since I just lost about 40% of my health. <sighs> by professionally sucking. Okay. I did get an extra uh, effigy from killing the uh, the child invader in the Black Gulch again, so we're not wasting one. Anyway, finally, uh, 
fucking I can't believe how ripped my lady looks dude <laughs> jester so that's no crits um let's just let's rejig the ghost situation in terms of my clothing I kind of want to keep on item discovery still don't know if that's a thing by the way but I'll put that shield back on and I'll I'll uh I look funny. <laughs> I've got it. I don't know why my character looks weird. <sighs> so, I'll keep the shield on my back. Um, you know what? I'm I'm going to the 100 reduction and a and the Zweihander. the 100% shield, and I'll just block the hits and I'll try and take the the stamina. If you see what I mean. There it is, and then. No backstabs. So I'm min maxing. I don't need fire on anymore. I'd love my extra <laughs> shit on though. Uh, I mean, I'll go back to basics for now, as long as I can afford the weight and shit. I could put on the little dress that you can't even see, the hot pants that you can't see because it's under the jester top. Um. Let's just put on the, those leggings. Let's have some physical. No crits. Souls and item discovery. We're, right, we're kicking ass. Shield's coming out. Let's do this. Um, okay. How's my recording going? I might have to just quickly restart my recording. Right, okay. I've just restarted my recording, you know, just in case. Um, for now, I'm going to quickly throw the shield off. We're going to light a torch, and I want to see just right away if it helps illuminate the ghosts at all. And if it doesn't, whatever. I'll just deal with it. It was just a little idea I had. It might cast shadows behind them or something. There's ghost number one. Alright. Come at me, motherfucker. Um, no, it doesn't help at all. At all. That's uh now one handed it's a f um okay, okay one handed it is the three hit kill but at the end of the last episode it wasn't and then one of them killed me all right okay this shield thing might work out brilliantly oh shit I need to I've got flash sweat on, and it's truly useless. Uh oh, there's another guy there. Hang on, I see, I see it. Just. Like, just. Okay, they can do, like, triple attacks. Fuck off. I haven't seen that. <gasps> no, he's gonna backstab me! Why can I only see them further away? Right, okay, the best way seems to be get medium distance and then swing. And if I land a hit, commit to the triple hit and then I'll kill him. Hello, super bright guy over there. Right, I can hear some serious shit. Again. I can't decide if they like... One... Two... Am I hitting something else here, or is that my sword doing that? Dude, I can see him so much easier from further away. Right, he's coming at me. One. Um. Why is my shield not doing anything? Run away. Let's back off, back off. I'm not dying to some basic, basic shit. Heal. I fucking hit him. Kind of. Roll away. Two 
too far away. I could, I could see that I was too far away. Right, he's coming at me. Got it. Fuck you. Super weird and a bit odd and a bit bullshit, I've got to say, how you can see them when you get distance, but then when they're close, they just turn invisible. Anyway, let's just hug the right. I think there's a cliff on this side, isn't there? Okay, this is going further than I remember. Let's go. Hello? Hang on. I don't even check for ghosts. Any more ghosts? <sighs> I've had a couple of them hitting me through my shield block, which is weird, unless they were, like, behind me. That was weird. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. Calm down, sir. There he is. Okay. Come at me. Fuck. E. God damn it. Dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. As long as they can't backstab me, it's all good. Gotcha. Fuck you. And again. And again. There you go. That's how you do it. Right, okay. There's... I mean, that is a leap of faith if I ever saw one. Fuck that. <sighs> Tree scaring the shit up. Let's just follow the edge. I mean, let's do literally do a perimeter check. Perimeter sweep. I can't see fucking shit, man. I think by pure chance and coincidence, I did loot most of the shit vaguely in the middle of this area. There was a chest, a body by a tree up a hill. Oh, we got a little path. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hello. At least it's not a mimic. Okay, best episode ever? In terms of, like, getting better shit of stuff I've already got. In the span of ten minutes, I've got a better fucking item discovery ring. Am I hearing a fucker running around down there? I am. I am. I am. Do you want to go, motherfucker? I will fucking end you. You ain't shit. Fuck you. My sword wins. Where the fuck? Good Jesus. Let's get back to safety and give that a read. I'm assuming it's the same, just better stamina. Dude! Oh, there is another one. Hang on, let me at least face the right direction. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Let's kill this one. In fact, let's just... I know it's just better in every way. Let's just upgrade. Uh, then I'll give it a proper... The one downside of this sword is... There's another one, isn't there? Hang on, hang on, is there another one? Hang on, Jesus Christ. This is a good little funnel, by the way. This is excellent. Because they don't seem to be shooting me from down there, so they all bottleneck themselves. Excellent. Right. These don't give you stamina, do they? It's stamina recovery. So I can't see how much it goes up by. No. Uh... I'm gonna go ahead and make a, just a bullshit random pulling numbers out of my ass guess here that that's 10% faster stamina recovery and that's 20. I, I'm assuming I'm somewhere in the ballpark. It might be less. It might be 5 and 10, but something like that. Uh, but yeah. I, I assume it's the same, yeah. I'm guessing they stack so I could put both on, but... I've been fine with the first one, so I'm definitely going to be fine with just the second one. Dude! Feel free, by the way, to tell me the values of the item discovery rings and the stamina rings. You know, I'm, I'm not a fool. I've already put together the differences, and I'm pretty sure I'm fucking close with the values. Uh, guesses. Um, let's just stick to the right edge, just for now. That was so easy to miss, if I didn't hug the right wall. Right, shield up, shield up, shield up. Let's keep hugging the right wall. Big tree. 
Oh, is this the tree where that body was? No. Oh. Illusory wall. You see, this place ain't too bad if you just, uh... Oh. Right, okay, we know where we're going. That's the way to go. I'm gonna keep hugging the right wall and hopefully, I assume, get back to the start. I'm min-maxing this place, no matter what. Let's hug the wall. There was the item I looted already. All you need is a, like, 100% physical reduction sheet. Oh, hello, hello. Yeah. An effigy. Shield up, shield up. I thought... I might be hearing someone. Yeah, all it takes is a shield. Oh, a weapon that can one-hit kill. There's an item down there. And that effigy pays for my humanity. And just gotta keep hugging walls, otherwise, and it all works out well. Hello? What? I was gonna say, what am I talking to? Oh my god. Uh, is that a guy in stone, or is that a guy made of stone? Let's just do a perimeter sweep. Oh. And that's why. Okay. Always do your perimeter sweep. Okay. What's your name, sir? Nice hat. Leave me be. Okay. I like it quiet. Leave me be. I can see you like it quiet. Just sitting under some rocks. What business have you here, traveller? You may call me Vengal. Vengal. I deserve a name in this sorry state. It is rare to flap these gums. This is pleasant. You just asked me to leave. I mean, make your mind up. Do you want me here? Do you not want me here? Did he, did he get turned into stone? Long ago, I was hired to defend the kingdom. I remember a long, brutal fight and then... Somebody killed me. Oh. Or so I thought. I came to and found myself like this. I don't know what explains it, but it's not so bad, really. Now I watch the days go by and gaze at the night sky. Is this ASMR? Of the finer things. Far removed from war. Okay. I've grown weary of battle, but did not realize it until now. So he was turned to sort of stone. You can tell uh, back to that high resolution thing. You can those little black colored stones, kind of black. That's him, and then the statue around him isn't him. You can tell because those little rocks are higher resolution than the surrounding statue rock. I wonder if he, like, steps up at some point, or if I can cure his stoneness. I know not what brings you on this journey, nor will I deign to ask. You may bear a great burden, but don't we all? I prefer to stay my distance. But I want to warn you of something. My body. My body. My body. <laughs> I see visions. My body. Headless. Raging without me. My body wielding my sword, a sword forged only to kill. I'd like that sword. My body will show no mercy. If you see the wretched thing, stay. Do you, uh. away. Do you mind if I kill it and take your sword? I learn new things <laughs> every day. Things never learned in battle. And thanks to you. I've recalled the joy of conversation. <laughs> okay, if well... I can help you, if you require something... Oh, here we go. Do speak up. I'd like some nice rings, I'd like some armor, I'd like some free shit, I'd like a gesture. Dick... <laughs> right, is this like the Headless Horseman, but 
this is his head that we never got to see <laughs> in any other media. We always see the body of the headless horseman. This is his head. Decapitate gesture. Cool. I cannot lie. Sometimes I wonder what's become of the kingdom. I was a hired hand, yes, but we soldiers stared death in the eye together. And for mm. his is he talking about King Vendrick? But perhaps it's for the best. We knew not what we fought for. I still am unsure if King... We keep hearing about King Vendrick that is the main big fucking king of this previous land. I don't know if he's got the same sort of role as Gwyn in the first game, where he was the king and is now the big fucking... Like, final boss of the game, basically. Or if he's not going to be that. I was born in Feroza, to land in the distant east. Mm. When I was born, we were already mired in prolonged conflict with our neighbours. Is that so? Eventually, our kingdom fell, and our people scattered. I've been a sell sword ever since. Who have you been selling your sword to? All I ever knew was war, and I can imagine no other way to live. Mm. What a fool I was. I wouldn't go that far. I'd love... Uh, mm, can you get this guy's arm set? Because I want that red lion fucking... Like, it's like what the Hound wears in Game of Thrones. In fact, it's very similar to that. Same idea. I am grateful for these peaceful days. But such contentment lies only in the here and now. Oh, this guy's got phil all philosophical. Why does life be so confounding? Thank you for lending an ear. Let's just exhaust all his shit and he might appear somewhere else, yeah. maybe. Take these. Oh. I have no use for them. Dude. What was I just saying? Go along and resume your journey. Yeah. I didn't even have to do a quest line or nothing. Um. He just... You see, they, right, in Dark Souls, more than any other series ever... You've really got to exhaust all the options, like dialogue and shit. He just gives me his helm after like seven voice lines, if you see what I mean. Right. Claymore. A very large greatsword. And a regular greatsword I've already got. Hmm. A very heavy design to use with both hands, just like the Zweihander. Allows for broad attack that are effective against multiple foes. It's slash and thrust, just like the Zweihander. It must be very similar. C and C strength scaling. I've heard good things about the Claymore in the first game. I think it's just kind of a simple, decent weapon. Dude. Hang on. Destructive Great Arrow inflicting break damage. Da -da 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 -da. Designed to destroy equipment with impact. Can, can, I, can you just, like, shoot... Uh, a PvP enemy's sword into non-existence. Huh, <laughs> that's great. Okay. Lightning Urn. Oh, that's, I, we haven't seen any of those yet. Right, this guy's all about lightning. These will be great in the reigning area of Drang Lake Castle. Mwah. Magic barrier. Increases resistance to magic, lightning, fire, and dark. Question for y'all, can I pop Flash Sweat and then pop Magic Barrier and it adds, like, you know, one doesn't replace the other one? Does it just add more fire resistance temporarily? Because that might be even better if you can pop a both of those. 14 Faith, though. I cannot lie. Sometimes I wonder what's become of the kingdom. Me too. I was a hired hand, yes. But we soldiers stared death in the eye together. And for his highness, I am afraid. But perhaps it's for the best. I'm kind of afraid for a different reason. Not what we fought for. I love the, the, the range of British accents in these games. Just You've got Scottish, you've got Irish, you've got all sorts of different English ones. Like, we've got Bristol, like, farmer, down south kind of... South southwest sort of accent. We've got fucking no this is a straight northern guy from where I live, literally. I was born in Ferosa. I was fucking born in Ferosa. 
When I was born, we were already mired in... This is our repeat, isn't it? Yep. I've been a cell. Yep. I'll have a new... What a f I'll do one last one, just to make sure. But so Why must... Yeah, okay. Farewell. Good, very Back good. again. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. Well, I appreciate your uh, existence, sir. Hopefully I see you again, or we can uh, maybe de-stone him at some point. Right, let's haul ass straight to this real fast. Ah, no, back, back, dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Let's go back up the hill. Real quick, let's reset. Okay. Here it comes, here it comes. Right, fuck you. Oh, come on. Two. Dodge and weave. I think... I can do four hits before I'm out of stamina. Which is interesting. Okay. Well, oh, helm, 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 helm. Helm, is he helm, 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 helm. Dude, I can't believe I just got it after I immediately expressed wish to have it. Fucking hell. A hundred and two, that's the first triple figure of physical resistance I've seen. Jesus. Oh, well, no, it doesn't. But that's super heavy. That's Havel's fucking helm. Helm worn by the ferocious Vengal of Ferossa. Vengal of fucking Ferossa. Right, as Vengal's helmet suggests, he was not uh, unlike a mad beast on the battlefield. So what's it got? Like, I don't think it's got any special shit. Um, honestly, all the special... All the special effects of the armor in this game seem to be what you would go with over... damage reduction values, you know? Um, but what's it got? It's got pretty fucking good physical... In fact, it's only physical, isn't it? High physical, shit magical. A lot of poise, not great resistances, and it's heavy. I've got to put it on just to see it, though, one time. Let's see it out of the fog, shall we? Hello there. Dude, <laughs> you can just... You can be the hound. Is that actually a dog? It's kind of looks like a jackal or a... And it basically looks like a dog or a wolf or something. That's awesome. Not awesome enough to get rid of my item discovery, though. Before I go to Drang Lake Castle, assuming I've, I survive and finish all this area without rage quitting the game, I will farm the sorceresses for, the, for their hood and stuff, because I just I want them badly. Right, we've hugged every wall. Now let's go straight through the middle, killing everything that remains, and then we'll go up the path. Uh, right, I'm, I'm fu- Something is like- did you hear that thing laugh at us then? What's laughing? There's something laughing at me. Is it that barrel? I don't like it. Go away. It is that barrel, isn't it? Laughing at me. Fuck you. Right, okay. Have we got everything? This is just a miserable fucking place. And it's huge as well. Like, it's fucking huge. I think I've killed every single ghost. Let's just go up that path. I'm lost. Like, no for shizzle, I'm lost. Oh, fucking, I'm at the start, man. Wrong, wrong direct. I thought I was by the new path upwards. Fucking hell. Let's just go vaguely in this direction. Oh, this is fucking scary, man. Like, seriously? Ah, uh, there's one more guy. I see him. Let's kill him. Let's just have him. Let's have him. 
Oh, yeah. Right, I'm going to always do four hits, because that always kills. Gotcha. Well, let's continue the same direction. It was, like, vaguely this way I was going. So hard to see. But you know what? Uh, who needs to see? I'm like, oh, you're Stark. Who the fuck needs eyes? I need eyes, apparently. Fuck. Would you die already? That guy needs eyes. Right, let's just try and find that fucking path. I think that's the way up to the Chloranthi ring. Right. I've got this. It's up here, isn't it? Oh, there's the... Right, okay, okay, fucking hell. I feel sick. Just... Fuck, man. The magical tree. Right, here we go, here we go. Shield up. Pause. This is future Liquid Blitz coming at you from the, uh... Well, the future. I'm just going to take a moment here to apologise in advance for the pretty erratic and aggressive editing you'll see for the rest of this episode. Um, if it's not already obvious, I recorded this episode very late at night, which is actually unusual for me, and I was more tired than I realised. I really should have waited and played the next day, but, you know, it is what it is. The end result is a lot of this shaded woods area I'm about to head into was very slow, even for me, and... Jesus Christ, you know how slow I can be. So in this next area, literally a slug could have reached the boss before I did. There's lots of running back and forth, not really picking a direction to go, kind of going over the same places repeatedly, and lots of indecision when it comes to the statues. Not to mention my commentary is kind of piss poor this episode because I was half asleep. So to be kind to y'all and to keep you awake, I've streamlined this area with a whole bunch of cuts and edits. Some might be a little bit jarring, but the whole area should flow a little bit better with most of the dead air removed. Anyway, that's all. Enjoy. Oh, thank fucking... I mean, just like that. Just like that. Where's the fog? Well, thank fuck for that. I think we are done with the fog. Can we all just agree I really checked the shit out of that area, so I looted everything. I, surely I didn't miss anything. And frankly, even if I did, I've got the Chloranthi plus one ring. That was by far, it must have been the best bit of loot back there. Right, okay, so we've got a tree to the left out there. Or a bridge. Some sort of statue. Oh god. Got a ghosty boy. Is that the same barrel that was in the motherfucker? I can't lock onto those guys. Let's go down and say hello. Uh mm. Ah, well, hello there. Yes, thank God. <laughs> Let's uh, take flash sweats off because that serves me fucking no purpose. I'll commit to the uh, to the weak ones because I've got a lot of projectiles to break barrels and shit. I, I am gonna go back to like whatever the fuck I had on before though. Uh, I don't need critical shit anymore. Hey, desperate times call for desperate measures. Oh, hang on. Uh, other shield. The potential fortune shield. There you go. Dude, I did not realize this um, leg piece had high heel boots on, like, le legit. 
Look at that. That looks ridiculous. <laughs> Fucking talk about inappropriate locales for wearing fucking hello. Inappropriate locations for wearing high heels. Number one, working in a diner. Number two, roaming around fucking Drang Lake. It is those fucking pots making those little laughy sounds. I don't like them. Mimic? Nope. Magic Bolt 10X. Still don't know how to tell which is a Mimic. Every chest from now on that's visible, I'm gonna really check out the front and like the sides. It was so much easier in the first game when it was obvious which was a Mimic. Right, that path back there is a shortcut because this goes to the same ledge. Mm -hmm. I can hear a laugh. Where's that pot? Must be above. <laughs> um. All right, let's get that because we can shortcut back. Oh, oh. Okay, that was an epic jump. Nearly too good. Three fire bombs, cool. It sounds like a, a family of hyenas. Oh, it's him! Hello! Oh, so we released him in his locked little pit and we've, uh, yeah. Okay. I wonder if we've got like a quest line with him now. Are these friendly? What are these? Hello? Oh god. I've only got two branches and I've seen at least two of these guys so far. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna complete everything before I've got to unlock a door or go somewhere new, so... He'll wait for now. We had another one down there. Uh... Right, that one's not blocking any path. But that one over there is. Hmm. Right, let's go down to the end. Ah! What the fuck? Hello? Oh! Oh, that's curse. They are giving me fucking curse, aren't they? Fuck off. I thought there was this little f bit of stone I was standing on then for a sec. Okay. Alright. Illusory wall. I look ridiculous. I might have to change my clothes. You know, let's just... I can take the bra, or I can take the skirt, but I can't take your bra, your panties, and some fucking high heels. It looks silly. Um, <laughs> muscularly silly. I'll continue for now, but it is a bit silly. The high heels, what is the point of those? That is so impractical. Oh, shit. I've always thought high heels, in, in actual real life as well, are just ridiculous. Right, every pot with a face is dying. I hope there isn't like a guy in one of these pots, by the way. That would kind of suck if I kill an NPC or something. <sighs> right, okay, he's blocking the sh shield. The, the chest. Right, do I need like a million branches of yore? That's three fuckers to depetrify now. No, I assume it is depetrify. Let's click on it. Yeah, okay. What are they, anyway? 
Are they like lion men or wolf men? Yeah. Hmm. Did I get a name check on this place, by the way, when I answered? Or is it the same place? Uh, hang on. Can I, uh, can I shoot this laughing pot through here? I cannot. Game says no. Fine with me. You little bastard. Oh, for fuck's sake. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Oh, God. Kill this pot real quick, real quick. That's what happens. That's what happens. Oh, he's going up because of the one downstairs. Watch out. Hang on, hang on. Ooh. Let's let that go down. Uh, tell you what. Why the fuck would I not put on my legendary curse resist hood? It's got a thousand fucking curse resist. Now let's compare the build up with the hood on. Hello? Right, hang on. Is that curse resist literally so good that it just prevents curse? It's not going up at all. Right. Okay, either. Um, right, I'm guessing here it's not actually just simply immune. I bet once you get to like a thousand resistance of anything, you are immune to it. Am I somewhere near the mark there? Like, is... I might as well put on the fucking witch robe at this point. I mean, the full set, <laughs> except the bra. Um, why the fuck not? I bet having a thousand fire resist would make me immune to fire, etc. Because I'm not getting cursed at all. I wipe my balls with these pots now. Hello. You ain't shit. In fact, I'm just going to sit here and look at you. Ooh, and a lockstone. Nice. I mean, I'll destroy it. <laughs> this set makes this level easy. Fucking hell. Hello. Yes, finally. I got one. Oh my god. Right. Oh, it didn't drop a twinkling titanite. It did drop a chut. Is there another one here? It dropped a chunk, and I do need a bunch of chunks for, like, the Zwei handler, etc. Not bad. Right, okay, this chest... Does it have any identifying markers? Like a dent or two on the front, a bit worn looking. Nope. Fucking hell, dark scythe. Oh, hello. Hello, king of all scorpions. D didn't see you down there. Fucking hell. Let's give that scythe a read. I'm going to try it. Dude, I'm getting some sick looking weapons. Dark Scythe. Custom blade has an extended slashing slashing reach when swung broadly. Oh, that sounds great for ghosts. But beware, these attacks make the wielder very vulnerable. No different from any halberd or whatever. Very low damage though. Oh, you can jump over there. Professional. Okay, let's let's check the perimeter around Mr. Scorpion. Dude! I like the blueness of his claws. Very blue colour. You know, I'm gonna life gym to follow you. I don't trust there not being an illusory war. 
Oh, okay, there isn't. Okay. I mean, can I lock on? He might be friendly. I can't lock on. That's a very good sign. Hello. I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but, but hello, maybe? Maybe hello? Dude. Look at the size of these fucking pincers. These pinchy boys. Bruh. That's terrifying. I'm getting flashes of Clash of the Titans. With Sam Worthington, just fucking colossal scorpions. Right, let's say hello. I mean, he's got, I'm waking him up here, by the looks of it. Um. Oh, God. Right, he's, he looks asleep. Do I have to hit him or something? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Can I roll into him? Rolling is friendly. No. I'm not fucking clubbing him with this fucking thing. I'll kill him. Um. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Right, we'll, we'll return. I'll complete more level, but uh, push comes to shove, I guess I'll try hitting him with a weak weapon. Right, fucking hell. Okay. Um, we've got to do some mathematics here. I've got Dos Branchos of Yoros. Two branches of Yor. We haven't got another one yet. So I'm gonna just consider it like I have two. And I will always have two. Let's be smart about this. Let's pretend I ain't never seeing another branch again. So we've got two to work with ever. So, I could use one on a chest and loot a chest. Or I could unblock paths. It, it, it goes without fucking saying, would you agree? I've got to unblock the paths first, there's no chance. Or no choice. I mean, let's go back. Hang on, there's another one close to it, is it up above? It is. You know, maybe destroying all these will summon a, an invader, kind of like lighting up everything in the gutter or something. Right, uh, I might want to start writing these down because we've got four now. This this looks like a boss arena, by the way, just because of its size. I don't like this. Dodge and weave, dodge, dodge and weave. That's, that should be corrosive. I recognize the yellow. That's corrosive. That's all good. Kill. Kill, motherfuckers. Dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. Don't corrode, kill the frogs. Don't corrode, kill the frogs. He's just... See, I don't want to kill him. He's just living his best life. I'm not losing... Calm down, sir. Okay. Okay. Right, I've got to say, at this point, I just want to throw a comment out there. This this he um, headpiece is overpowered. It just auto-blanket makes you immune to curse, it looks like. Um, now, granted, <laughs> these frogs didn't do any curse attacks, but they do curse you if, if I had let them spit and stuff. But it just blanket makes you immune? That seems like... You, you know what I'm trying to say? Ooh, thank fuck for that. It just seems too good. Um, that's the only way I can describe that. Maybe if you could get immune by putting on a, the curse ring, and then this hood, and then maybe a, a shield and something else, maybe you could work your way to being immune with all the perfect setup. But just putting on a hood and being immune? It's too overpowered. It's it's too much. I, I'm gonna assume people agree with me though. It just makes it safe to run around all the pots like it's nothing and laugh at it. It's too easy. Which I never thought I'd say in Dark Souls. Now, very very quickly, I'm gonna roll or run through the shit once just to see if it does corrode. That sound like 
90%. Okay. It is. Oh, it's on half. Right. Avoid the yellow pools. I'm oh, good. Oh, right. It's that cave that I saw from uh, from there. And then that goes back down. Okay. Nice. Uh... Can I, can I, uh, can I, uh, get up there, is what I'm trying to say. How the fuck? Right, that circle thing is the same circle pedestal little plinth as down in the, in the shit. Did he, like, fast travel here through some mechanism? And maybe that's how I get here, because that's, I can't get up here. Fully blocked from down here, at least. I can't see any doors. Or really, I bet this this fucker out there somehow gets to that. I bet it's an illusory wall, isn't it? You bastard! All right. So I thought when I was listing these in my head, I figured right, this one's just a complete fucking waste. Then the next level of waste is is the one in front of the chest, and then two are blocking paths. Those are the most most important two. Clearly, I reckon this is blocking an illusory wall to go to Mr. Fucker through there. And a chest. Um Do I have two? I mean clearly unblocking the paths comes fucking first. Can we just agree on that? It's automatically. Right, before I fell down. That was one hell of a trap. <laughs> Oops. I know, I don't have my item discovery, but I've got the plus one ring on to count for that, you know? Something running around. Oh, hello. Oh, I've got another one. Oh my god. What the fuck? That's five at least. This is crazy, man. I'd like to buy some branches of your, please. There's some way of bullshitting some of these to get past the statue. Well, I was wrong about the fucking path, wasn't I? Because I'm at that dude. What's in here? Fucking hell, these drops are giving me a heart attack. Homing soul mass? Or? What does that do? I didn't read that. I, I remember vaguely picking up two holy water on my path to Dr Drang Lake Castle. I never read it. An urn filled with crystal clear water. It originally intended as a soothing potion. This water scalds the skin of the undead and hollows. In the old capital of Mira, uh, that's the home of Lucatil. An ancient, well-protected spring produces holy water, but the water has been difficult to acquire ever since Miriam became embroiled in war. Um, cleanse undead with holy essence. So that is just like effigy. Isn't it? Um, that's cool, but there seems to be plenty of effigies in the game. Right, how are you doing? Young undead, don't let this curse weigh upon you. We meet a second time. Perhaps you will yet traverse the dark. Young undead, if you truly seek the dark, then we will surely meet again. I mean, we already met again here. <laughs> Can we meet again again? May we meet again? May we meet again? Somewhere. Sometime. 
I guess I'll just see him again, or I can't speak to him because of requirements. It's fine with me, dude. It would be cool if his little circular thing here actually took you to the to the other circle in the Black Gulch. Life gem, thank you. We've got stairs we can go up. Ow. These are all bad guys, aren't they? Yes, they are. Fuck you, you little smarmy shit. You smarmy shit. <laughs> I'm never gonna hit him. Oh, you little bastard! Can't hit trees in this kind of in this place. No. All right. Okay. This is a big fucking place. Hello? Oh, it's an unfrozen one. Oh, is he is he friendly? No, no, he's not. Right. Okay. So I'm pretty sure unfreezing every one of these will make a bad guy. Whoa! Fuck you, dude. These things might have the coolest design of any thing I've seen in this game yet. It's like a humanoid with like a lion mane. A, a lion with dreadlocks mane. <laughs> Very cool. At least these guys are stupid. And a one shot kill. Ooh. Oh, can I uh, equip their armor as a set? Let's heal. Uh, let's give those cuffs a real quick. Lion Warrior Cuffs. Cuffs worn by Lion Clan Warriors. The Lion Clan are an offshoot race that have no ties to humans and would murder anyone who might have the curious notion of approaching them. The, the Lion Clansmen seem to despise their own looks as they hate being seen. Reduces falling damage. So I've now got boots that reduce fall damage and cuffs. That's, that's a nice uh, way of letting me choose some fall damage. Reduction. Oh, this one's gold. This one's a blondie. <laughs> so, so just like humans, they've got different hair colors. Okay. Oh, this one's stronger than the other ones. Okay, blonde is like elite. Oh, cape as well. Dude, their cape does look fucking awesome. Dude. Um. More for... Right, okay, every piece is going to have fall damage, isn't it? Uh, right. There's a body under this one that doesn't have loot on it, but I reckon if you defuck this one, some loot will appear. But, uh... Nah. I'm going to have to make a priority list at some point soon. Right, what's up there? I've got to say, some of the armor sets look really cool in this game. The lockstone. Like, really cool. Better than the first game. Even. The sorceress is fucking amazing looking. Close second is this black mage purple robe set. That's, it looks awesome. Strayed's armor that I know you can get is fucking awesome looking as well. That's straight up the knight uh, set from Skyrim. The, the fucking... The Thieves Guild level up, whatever you call it, the knight something. Exactly, looks exactly the same. Well, let's check the rest of this area over here. But yeah, there are some sick looking armor sets in this game. To the point where I kind of want to forgo things like item discovery on the helmet just so I can wear awesome looking shit. I'm surprised this, fall, this floor didn't just fall down, though. 
Right, okay, let's uh, go up the stairs first. There was loot up here. I'm glad a few of you uh, commented. Is this... Um, I can't remember his name. Pate Pate? Chicken Pate? Uh, yeah, what was I going to say? I've had a few of you comment um, that my idea of going strength and faith like a strict hybrid of strength and faith only in Dark Souls 3 is a welcome one. Apparently that's going to be a really fun way to play the game, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, and I'm going to go big weapons in that game as well. Right, hello. <laughs> Just wait. What? You dirty rat. Who are you calling rat? Oh, I, I remember you. Don't you scare me like that. I thought you were him. Is this the guy from the Forest of the Fallen Giants who was sitting down? I, all I can remember is he was wearing kind of silver armour. I don't know if it's the same guy or not. That bastard with a ring lives in Brightstone Cove down the way. I'm going to find him and settle the school. It must be the Creighton. He sulks me like that. It was Pate and Creighton, wasn't it? The duo that hate each other. So this must be that guy. For the good of the world and for my own honour. I won't let that bastard live another day. Oh, is this Creighton himself? I can't remember what Creighton was wearing or what he looked like when I freed him in the uh, undead purgatory or whatever the fuck that place was. For the good of the world. Right, I okay. Well, I've advanced his... Uh, I won't. I didn't summon Creighton for an important fight, so my Creighton storyline is like fucked from the start. And I'm not too bothered. Um, but at least I've advanced his shit. Alright. Let's fall down the hole. Just because I can. Right, without resting and spawning everything again, let's go up here. I'm expecting a big old boulder to come <laughs> to come rolling my way <laughs> on this on a path like this. Oh shit! Right. I'm a veteran. I'd like to believe at this point in my Dark Souls career, that's not the boss fog door. This is. <laughs> as soon as I cross this threshold, I'm in the fucking arena. Um. I'm gonna depetrify some shit before I commit to this. Should I literally consult Notepad and list every... Oh, hang on, the shit here. Should I consult the list and add every, uh... Motherfucker that I can depetrify and make the best well-informed decision that I can? I think it might be a good idea. Alright. Another chunk and another bone! Hell yes. Nice. Oh god, I, I don't know why, but I don't trust this. Three torches and a butterfly, nice. Okay. Let's do a very quick... I'm not going to make a list. Let's just do a real quick run back to every petrified thing and see what the point is. That is kind of nothing. Maybe an item will appear on the body. Otherwise, it's nothing. This one over here is a chest. Could be anything in the chest, probably like a ring of some kind. Right, okay, this one here is a chest as well. That's a chest. There is a summon sign. Sorry, I missed it. Um, Bradley of the Old Guard. Okay, that was not there before. Only after speaking to that dude, and I don't recognize the name Bradley. But I'm not going to summon him. Where else were there some fuckers? So this one is the most pointless, it seems. So we've had a couple of pointless ones, maybe. We've had a fully pointless one. We've had a maybe pointless one, but maybe an item. We've had two chest blocking ones. And that's just what's here. Let's continue through back through here again and go down. And they've had a couple more, I think. Yeah, we had one down the pathway down here. Well, pathways come first, in my opinion. Can we get a good idea of what's past them? 
it's important. I've got two branches for like seven fucking guys to unpetrify. I, I can't get a good camera angle on the other side of the wall, can I? Oh! You know what? I, I kind of can. Sort of. Sort of. Well, there's nothing in that chunk. Let's do this one. I, I, you know, you, I've got to make a choice. Can't sit here forever. Now, is he going to be an enemy? Yes, he is. Please. Hello there. Hello there. You fucker. And I missed. We missed. Oh, this is his body. It's fucking... Um, I've already forgotten his name. I apologize. It's the headless guy. <laughs> so this is his body. He did mention a sword, but he looks like he's got two. Huh. I wonder if we can get his full set from here, maybe. Hey, fine with me. Yes! Vengard's armor, gloves and boots. Let's give those a quick read. I'm happy enough to, to spend a branch on these, you know? Armor of the Fur- I figured his body would be like a main boss though, I'll be honest. Raging deadly warrior, even for us as lion knights, a motley crew of rapid fighters kept him at arm's length. Is it the same for everything? Yes it is. Um, Heavy, good physical, shit magical. Got it. Right, what's this? Torch, don't mind if I do. I mean, I've I've spent the money to come down here, so I'm gonna check every fucking chunk of wall <laughs> for obvious reasons. I want to get my money's worth out of that branch. I'm tempted to go up to the fog area, though. I'll be honest. Um, before I commit to spending my last fucking branch. Um. There's, there's no fucking way that's a path. Hmm. Here's the other end of that blocked path. And the bridge. That I could probably bullshit my way... I could probably jump down here somewhere. Um. I've got too many souls to risk this now. Ooh. Let's go back, level up a couple of times, and come back with zero souls. And then we'll spend my remaining branch. I am fucking sorely tempted to try making that jump. I'm going to level up first, and then I will try making that jump. Because if I don't have to unfreeze that statue there, then I won't. Let's, um... Yeah, let's go back and level up. Right, I might need a... Uh, I might need to use a couple of souls items to get two levels. In fact, I might not even have enough, period. But let's just keep hammering equip load. I do have a few souls items, like, to be fair, like several good ones. Uh, I must have enough for another level. Surely. In fact, fucking hell! One thing just gave me almost enough. Jesus. Uh, that might be enough, actually. Bearer of the less. Dude, we're getting some serious fucking load now. Oh. And we've got no souls to lose. That makes me happy. I've got high hopes. Right, okay, this is the Shaded Woods officially. I thought, like, way back there was the Shaded Woods. Right, okay. This is going to be a leap of faith right here, because that's one hell of a actual leap. And I might get caught on the edge here, you know? I'm here. And I never had to use this. 
you know, I could easily have done that thinking it would lead to more shit. I should have known that was actually two ways into the same area. I should have known. I'm glad I didn't use it, for fuck's sake. Hello? Oh, it's another one of these fuckers. I mean... I kind of don't want to kill these, but, you know, if you're going to make me... Be done with you. Urban soul, right? There's gonna be some unique shit, surely. Oh, bone dust. That's um plus four. That that will heal me for more. Nice. Okay. Uh. Well, I didn't need a a branch of yore to get here. To be fair and to be clear, um, I could just jump and got that any old time. Uh. So the branch here was either of these, and it was to get to uh, Vengal's headless body. Well, I, you know, I'm glad I did. I definitely made a good decision there to do that. That's what I'm going to tell myself anyway. Because that was a little bit of extra story, you know? Oh. More loot, yay! Now, I'm sort of, I've moved away from Halberds, but especially in this game, Black Knight does require faith, etc. So it's not really usable, but every time I see Black Knight anything. Uh, oh, it's like Guan Yu's Halberd from D Dynasty Warriors. Oh, it looks awesome. Even after their flesh was charred by the flame, they remained as strong as ever and stood watch, challenging visitors to their land. Oh, bloody hell, man. Only nine faith requirements. 200 flesh damage, 100 fire damage. Dude, that's actually really good damage. Alright. Jesus Christ, what the fuck's the point of this doorway? Right, am I kind of fucked unless I bone out of here? That's fine. Let's just head back to the fog door, I guess. The only two things remain. I did not see the... Right, there's no way that butterfly was there before. I'd have seen that. Big bright yellow thing. I can lock onto it. Is that just your basic-ass normal thing? Um, oh my god, is that worth using another home bone? <laughs> Poison heal or something? Oh, you know, you know what? Fine. Good enough. Right, Jesus Christ. I've got two left now. I might go and buy some more from the cat in the town. Sorry, not two. Three things remain to me. Option number one. This, right, there's more and more butterflies appearing. I swear weren't here before. The fuck? How did that mess? I'm gonna life gem because uh, I think I might be doing the boss fight while I'm human for maximum healthage. So, possibility number one I could branch another statue to try and get something else. Opportunity number two. I can try to do something with that scorpion guy to try and speak to him somehow. Don't know how. Or opportunity number three, do the fog and the boss. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do the fog. This is one case where I don't care about uh, a summon. Cause there ain't no Lucatiel around here. Uh now this is like curse area, so I'm I'm feeling like I'm going to keep curse stuff on for this boss. Maybe poison too. Um, surely this doesn't interrupt with all, like... I don't want to do a boss and then that scorpion guy just vanishes forever, you know? Um, I'm human. 
shit, 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 shit. I don't need souls or anything for a boss. I'm just going to throw on, like, poison, because... Uh, um, good resistances. Club. Uh, heavy shit. There you go. Let's just get to fall. And let's do this. I assume this is going to be a boss. Or maybe not. I figured it would do that whole fog door appears behind me situation. Alright. I'm scared. Ah. Got a, we've got like a, a wench in the... In the sand, just chilling. You, 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 you just stay there. Right, we're also, okay. Let's do the math here. This is a boss arena because it's it's dark grey fog door. That means that you can't go through it, and that means boss arena. We've got a woman just chilling in the sand. Got some loot up a tree. We've got like a collapsing looking ceiling. Fuck it out! Calm down, woman. Um, let's just run around and take my time. She is so gonna sprout out of the ground, isn't she? Like a giant scorpion or some shit. Let's just check everywhere out. There she is. Hello. There she is. It's. I couldn't have been more correct. That's not a thing. That's not a thing. So, okay. So her name. Oh, fuck. Elden Ring projectiles? Oh, they are as well. Fuck off. Scorpioness Najka. It's a very different scorpion to the one outside. Ow, fuck off, would you? You know what she reminds me of? Queelike like from the first game? And all the uh, cursed um, sisters? Like a female naked upper half body, and she <laughs> she's stuck on a little branch. But yeah, woman like upper body, and then just cursed horrible body. Dude. Well, I want that fucking um, I want that loot. I'll be honest. <laughs> um, can I get her to attack that tree actually? Oh fuck! Right, hug the hug the tree for safety. She's under the fucking floor, man. Ah! I don't know what I was expecting. Oh, she's got rid of the tree. Ah. Oh fuck! Right. Okay. 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 Got to dodge these. E. I'm gonna life jump real quick. I'm glad I've got the poison ring on, by the way. Right, okay, I wanted to charge this tree then, so I can get that loot. Um, I think I need to, to go underground, don't I? Okay, that didn't hit the tree. Oh, um, shit. <laughs> hmm. I need to be full health, though. Suck. Can you go underground, please? There you go. Right. If you can come at me, I'll intentionally, I think, like, shield and take a fucking hit. It's not that my 100% shield, but that is good enough. It's good enough. There. Yes! Oh, brain cells win again. <laughs> Wee! -hee. Calm down. Ooh, a flame butterfly. Well, you know what? I don't mind if I do. Right, it's time to kill a motherfucker. Oh, fuck. Uh. Right. Okay, stop firing at me, man. Ow. That was bad dodging, right. Have that, you stinger. Oh god, it's resistant to physical or strike. 
Oh no, no, I just, I just must have got a shitty hit. Now it's imp oh god. Uh, I mean, it fucking worked wonders in terms of taking damage. I could just roll, I guess, out the way. Oh, she's coming, she's coming, she's coming! Alright, oh, okay. I think I should probably shield <laughs> that damage. Ow. I needed to do a sting attack. Oh, she's got like spider legs as well. Look at that fucking damage! Uh, hang on, running attack. Oh, she's my... I'm not going to use the B word, but she's my victory. I was going to say she's my bitch, but that's just... That's just... That, that word doesn't need to be used anymore. But you get my uh, sentiment of what, what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I own this boss, is what I'm trying to say. She has an interesting looking necklace. Right, I need to heal or I'm going to die to this. Let's just fucking shield properly this time. Let's just take the hit. There you go! Oh! <gasps> Oh, fuck, right, okay. That was a lot of damage. It wasn't just the burst. She slammed me when she got up again. Eesh. Probably best if I roll away from that attack, actually. She's got a skull. That's what it is. It's a skull necklace she's wearing. And she is indeed naked. This, oh, if this turns out to be like Sister of Quilag and um, Fair Lady Spider from the first game, that'd be awesome. This is a very, oh god, this is bad. This is bad, no, this is very bad, fuck off. Shh, calm down, or I'll have to do that. No! Oh, this might kill me. Toxic. Uh, let's just let's just uh, heal double fast. Let that run out. I can heal it. I know I can heal it enough. That's good enough. Very good. Very good. Very good. Heal again. I can out heal the toxic. Excellent. 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 Okay. Excellent. That was a yes. Excellent choices to double radiant life gem, and then yes, <laughs> I'm talking to myself at this point. Excellent choices, sir. Yes. Oh fuck's sake. Um. You know, it's good to stay knocked down from these. because then subsequent ones don't hit you. Right, come on. Let's just go, let's dodge to her side so I don't get fucking spiked. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, right, let her come at me. I'm just gonna roll backwards out of the way. You missed. You missed, you scorpion lady. I've got to say, I'm, I'm a fan of the double tail design. How how could we make this, this scorpion even more scary? Let's give it two fucking stingers, not one. Right, say goodbye to your life, scorpioness Naika. Naika. Victory achieved. Bustle, yeah. Cool! I hope the scorpion outside doesn't, like, hate me now or something. Like, I killed his wife. Let's give that soul a read. Oh, yes. Another case of, like, bosses are way easier than basic enemies, by the way. I like to think if I wasn't quite as high level, that sting attack that got me in the air would have, like, one-shot killed me. Maybe I'm a bit too high level. 
Da, 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 da. Najka. Let's see, Najka. Was born of the misdeeds of an ancient being, a frail soul from the beginning, that soon succumbed to madness. Use the special soul of Scorpioness Najka to... Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. Well, what's through here? Uh, this is all a bit enclosed and scary looking. There's not going to be an illusory wall, but let's just click on every chunk of wall anyway. Right, what's through here? This is a long path, like I'm leaving the area. Okay. Uh, doors of Faris, okay. Uh, is this a point of no return? Alright. Bad guys, clearly. Let's just... I can always home bone my way out. Uh, we're in water, so I'm getting wet. Uh, ooh, lightning? Sh should I be putting my lightning spear on? I bet it would still be less damage than this club, honest to god. Oh god. My bad, he oh, got me there. <laughs> Definitely should be going around the sides of these big fucks. Okay. Dude, this is like fucking... It's something out of Tomb Raider or something. Uh, oh god. I'm guessing with a name like Doors of Pharos, this place is going to actually have a bunch of Pharos locks in it. And I'm going to have to pick and choose. <laughs> uh, this guy's different to the other one. He, the other one was huge, this guy's small. Look at him. It looks a lot like the, the drunken um, vendor. Guy. Hope I'm not killing friendlies here. All right, I've got a sconce and another dude. Uh. Okay, we've got. Oh, it's an actual drunken fool. Life channel. Right, these aren't going to spit at me, are they? Right, okay, let's just see if there's like a bonfire above him or something. Before we commit to anything serious. Hmm. Well, let's say hello. You know, it might be the same guy thinking about it. He did go to a different place already, so probably the same dude. Make deal it is! Gavlan. Wheel and deal with Gavlan! Yeah. Gavlan with Gavlan. What? With Gavlan. All right. Okay. Anything new? Or is it just the? Yeah. Okay. You. Yes. Me go home. Well, I'm glad I saw you again. Let's uh go down here first. Um, friendly guy. Nope. No. Nope. 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 Look at that, he's got an anvil mace. That's awesome. <laughs> I hope that wasn't a blacksmith that I could make friendly, by the way, with a fucking anvil. Right, again. Again, we've got the double bolts. This shouldn't be a mimic. Good. Dragon charm, cool. Let's just light because I can, and we're going to go down on the water first. That was the first path I could see. I don't, I'm hesitant to use my my last remaining branch back on one of the statues, by the way. Um, you never know when I'm going to need it. Oh. Okay, put that away. There were several chests I could get access to, but that will leave me with no fucking 
branches, and then I might need one for future progress, you know, so... Germ's Respite. Does this fall under a new place? It does. Huh. Doors of Faris. Okay. Well... Hey, let's just, uh... Keep torching my way. New room? Let's put the torch away. Oh, hang on, we've got some, uh... Little rooms. Hmm. Is this a boss one, or is this just a big one? Uh, hang on, what am I examining? Oh, right, okay. First, uh, Ferris lock in the floor there. I reckon that'll unlock that door. Uh, I bet that goes up around to there. If I had to guess. And we've got multiple, we've got one in the wall there, one in the wall there. That's two to open that big door, I reckon. And that's a bigger door. Hmm. I don't know if I got. There's no way there's enough Faris locks in this game for every single thing in here. Let's kill this big fuck. How you doing? Oh, is he friendly? Hello? Okay. Hello? Okay, everything is like friendly in this place. We've got a rat that's drowned. We've got a big guy. Let's just check every direction, I guess. Oh, fucking hell. Well, I got an axe. A germ axe. Give that a read. Cool, look. At first glance, this axe appears crude, but with further examination, one sees the fine craftsmanship of germ blacksmiths. Quite heavy for a human, but flung about with reckless abandon by the germ. 190... Yeah. Are these guys the germ, then? Right, I got two things going into there. I can hear water behind this door. Hmm. I wonder if that will flood the room or something. Hmm. Got a pedestal over there. Got another lock and another door. Another lock and another door. So that's at least one, two, three, four, five, six. I can light this. We shall do that. Check this out first, though. Well, I've, I can unlock m most of these, I guess. Hmm. I love the, uh, the architecture, like the rock. The, the, the cave walls have been sculpted into square shapes. Very cool. I'll keep going as far as I can. That's a ladder. Yeah. As far as I can before I've got to spend a stone or anything like that. Right, these aren't attacking me, and I thought they were rats, but they're not. They're dogs. Oh, hang on. Oh, there's another door here. Let's climb up. I thought they were rats at first, and because I'm friendly with the Rat King... In fact, I think I'm in the Rat Covenant still. I thought that might be why they're friendly, but they're not. They're dogs. Corrosive-looking dogs as well. 
Twisted Barricade. That's a spell. Um. Oh, oh, so some hex is a staff, some... That one's a chime, okay. A hex that distorts local space. For a brief moment, spells are deflected. Hexa Gilly. Never took an apprentice making it. Okay, so I can reflect spells. Defo, interesting. I've got another sconce I can light. Right, why could I kill the first couple, but now they're all friendly with me? What's going on here? This is weird, man. Hmm. Right, I've got a feeling that's a mimic right there. I'm full health, so I can take a full munch. Got another door. Oh, oh, he's blocking the way. Or is he? I, you know, I bet you can bullshit this. Oh. I can just push the motherfucker. <laughs> okay. Right. The last shiny one, I believe, was a mimic. Or was it? I don't even know. It's got the bolts. It's shiny. No, it's it's not. A, it's a trap, though. It's a trap. It's something. Okay. A chunk of the bone. Thank you. Uh, I've got two things here. Oh, are they both actual doorways as well? Right, fucking hell. I've got some serious decisions to make, and that looks like a button on the wall. Oh, it is. Hang on, hang on. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave. I don't know what I've done, but just dodge and weave. Dodge and fucking weave. I've done something. Is that a, was that a permanent press? It is. Oh. It wasn't. Oh my god, this place is confusing, man. I don't know if the sound is anything to go by. Is that something under me? Maybe something in the main room? Fucking spike walls. Oh, hang on. Did I accidentally spike the friendly guys? Are they going to hurt me? Um, hate and hurt me now. Or is that just a way of running past them, spiking them off the edge of some shit? <laughs> hmm. You know what? I got a butterfly from uh, Scorpion Lady's room. Lie some sconces. Hoping they're not gonna hate light, I'll be honest. Nope. They're friendly. Don't mind me just scooching past. So these are spike walls. I wonder if it, if the Faris things would, all, would trigger the same shit. Or something. Or a trap and kill my ass. Hello. They are the same species as Gavlan. And I think the second blacksmith that's friendly in uh, Steadyhand Macduff is the, the same species of thing. Faris Lockstone, that's a perfect bit of loot right there. My god. Fucking hell, fucking hell! 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 9, 17,402. That one is actually a statue. Who just wants a hug. 
Hmm, hang on, can I get a little... No, can't look under the door. This is silly. How many of these there are. Are these like their bedrooms or something? Just a little closet that they sleep in. Another proper door looking thing. A fog door. A dark fog door. Which screams of boss arena to me. Like I'm in one. That sound is a bonfire. That's, that's what that sound is. Right, I don't think there is anything through the gap. It's hard to see though. That's the bonfire sound. It's either I'm very close to a bonfire. <laughs> like, is the previous bonfire beneath me or something? It is. I'm above the cave with the bonfire. It was back through there. Right. Alright. Here. Um, down here. Something's gonna piss all these guys off. Bonfire. Yes! Okay, well, I'm making progress without your lock stones. Ordeals end. Is that in the same thing? Uh. It is. Is this the end of the ordeal? I mean, like, literally? <laughs> Is this a traverse moment? Okay. I hope you all don't mind, I'm gonna put two more points into equip load. I know I'm sort of not fat rolling yet, but it's only because I'm in the lightest of armor. I'd like to ideally be able to put more stuff on at the same time as the big old club, so it, it, it is worth it. Now I will use another item. Uh, oh, and also... Bone dust. Yeah! That's plus four Estus flasks. Right. I've decided, yeah, I will check what better armor I can put on between episodes. Um, just so I'm not sitting here for ages, you know? Because I've increased my equip load significantly. I might even be able to take that ring off now. The equip load ring I'm wearing to put something better on. Because, hell, if I can put both Chloranthi rings on, we're laughing. Um, for now, we'll go back to where we should be. We could go further up um, before the fog door, though, so let's go there. Uh, as far as... Past Gavlin, those are way upstairs. As always, I feel like I'm making more progress in the last third of the video. <laughs> than all previous things combined. Now, just to be clear, is this guy still an enemy? It is! So this one's annoyed, but all the other ones aren't. Ow. I find that very weird. Why are these ones upset? Well, you know... I hope the rest of them don't hold it against me. Gavlin, can you tell me about your peoples? Why, why are some attacking me and some aren't? Okay, what else have we got before the fog door? Okay, this one's tossing shit at me. Nice slow tosses, thank you. I've got an already lit one. Um, before the fog door. Oh shit, hang on, here we go, here we go. No, right, okay, just rush him, rush him. Never mind, that's a future bug. 
Hello? Friendly? No, fucking hell, man. Alright. I will light the one uh, in the main big water room before I do the fog door. Oh! Fog door is last. I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. Like, some of these are attacking me because I haven't lit something or done something, but then other ones are friendly because I have done something. Weird. Let's just roll with it. Some hate me, some love me. I'm getting the feeling you don't need to use any locks of Faris um, items though to progress in this area. I can sort of just straight ignore them. Oh god. Okay, okay. We've got a, a fountain. Life gem. New area entirely? Brightstone Cove Seldora. Hello? Oh, this place looks dead. We've got barricades and everything. Okay, all right, let's get the fire at least. I'll be doing the fog though, and I think I'm going to do it this episode. Royal Army campsite. Okay. Is this a new area? Let's get an idea of what's going on here. It is. It's an entirely separate place. Right, let's pr fog door the previous place. Probably an optional boss or something. Nice tent. Oh, I love the physics of the entrance. Right, this is future. This is future. Yeah, fire, and then we'll light the shit, and then I'll take the tor lit torch to the center of this big room. And then we'll light the shit. Probably won't do anything. I do something. Uh, maybe not. Maybe just some light, I guess. I haven't seen a single fucking summon sign, and Luca Teal hasn't been anywhere, so hopefully she's not fucking involved in all of this shit. Hello? Knock, knock. Oh, God. Oh god, that's not a rat, it's a dog. All your other dogs have been friendly. Oh god. Black fog door. Boss room. I've got my curse hood on. I don't know if that yellow shit on them is petrify or curse or what. Oh god. Can I, uh... Oh hello, hello, they're coming at me. All good. I said all good. Royal Rat Authority. It is a rat. I mean, it's more than a rat, though. It's this is this is some serious ratage. This is like a unique level of ratage. This is like a dog. Look at its face, man. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Right, I need to just dodge and dodge and weave real fast. and heal, heal fast, fast as shit, boy. You're hurting your own boys, you stupid thing. I mean, you're actually an idiot. I mean, straight up, keep attacking your own boys, I don't care. Look at his tongue. You missed. But I didn't, you weak fool. Oh, get up. 
I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I don't I can't heal that damage. It's too much. I can keep I can heal past the toxic, it's fine. Right, Toxic is gone. Okay, oh, hell, you crazy fuck! You crazy fuck! This is insane. The fucking build-up. Can you- I need to kill these rats. Like, emergency kill the rats. I can't- I can't- this is too much, man. The camera- fuck off camera. Right, okay. He's done half the damage for me. Dodge and Reeve. I'm going to get my staff out. And I'm gonna heal. I thought I dodged that. Clearly, I fucking didn't. Fuck off, you little shits! Fucking hell! Stamina, stamina, fuck. That's one dead. I need to roll past its shoulder when it does that shit. The, the camera and the, the camera controls are getting to me. Alright, I'm out of flasks nearly here. Why aren't they in my fucking... That's annoying. Right, the do right, have you seen that? The dog is knocking them over, so all my spells don't land. That's a little bit bullshit, I've got to say. And I can't see because the camera... Right, okay, okay. By the way, when I do that, I am dodging. I am rolling. I'm using a lot of life gems, I know, but the, the, the pesky fuckers are nearly dead. Fucking hell, the camera is in the fucking wall, man! I've got this. Right, he's killed the fuckers, I think. He's... Right, that's it. It's just me and the fucking wolf now. <sighs> Bring it on. I've, I've used all my fucking life gems for this. do this. <sighs> Maybe. I thought I rolled fucking perfectly then. Oh, I've used all my life gems on this fight. I've used them all now. This is it. That second follow-up is fucking fast sometimes and it's slow other times. <sighs> I'm gonna use my spells while I can.
this is one case where getting distance on him is actually useful. My commentary is going to shit, but you can understand why. You can fucking understand why. It's fine, those little ratty fucks are dead. No, it's not. It's not fine. I do have some spe some 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 kinds of potions to heal, but it is what it is. I'm focusing now. I'm really focusing. I'm gonna go no comment here because I really want to focus. These fucking attacks have changed, man. The fuck? Right, back to no commentary. I'm not dying here. <sighs> I'm so happy. My heart rates so fast. I, 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 I feel like I need to piss my pants and puke and faint and celebrate all at the same time. And let's not forget shit my pants. Oh my god. I used all my fucking Estus flasks. And once I decided to use like half of my life gems, I decided, you know what? It's now or never, Dad. Don't hold back. I, I decided I just had to fucking go for it. No ifs, ands, or buts. <sighs> Where the fuck did those 11 life gems come from? I thought I used every life gem. God, itchy nose. Fuck me. Just, just, just. Itchy nose, fuck off. Now's not the time for itchy nose. I thought I used every life gem. Like, every life gem. Radiant and normal. Did I run out of radiant and then just... My brain just magically assumed I was out of all life gems. Because I've still got fucking basic ones. Or did I just loot some then and didn't see them? You know what? It doesn't matter. What matters is that I killed the king of all rats. That was the second rat boss. The first rat boss was not a boss. It was just a normal rat with a mohican. Like a mohawk. And it was called Royal Rat... Something. In fact, I've got... I should have a soul for it. Um, I guess I don't. There. We had the Vanguard, but it was a tiny little rat. This time we're the Royal Rat Authority. And that was a big fucking rat. 
I'm still confused how that little rat was even a boss, but I guess there was loads of little rats. Like it was a full-blown event. But this was just four little rats and one big rat. Soul of the Royal Rat Authority of the Underground Realm. Those who choose to serve the Rat King. I've, I am serving the Rat King. I'm even in the Rat fucking Covenant. Must have the courage to face his challenges. I guess it's just like a, a friendly competition type of covenant then, where you're supposed to kill your own members of the Covenant. Use the special soul of this rat. Okay. I've definitely gained a few souls since I last checked the blacksmith. Uh, sorry, strayed. Dude, look at this for a throne of the Rat King or whatever. Um, or not even a Rat King. Um, it was just Rat Royal Rat Authority, whatever the fuck that means. Uh, that's that's where's this go? Oh my god. Uh, let's just keep going. I can rest and get my flasks, but just almost through here. Right, they should be friendly. Yeah. Speak thy mind, servant. Oh, it's the Rat King. I've got two rat tails. I mean, I'll, I'll give you the rat tails. Your devotion is deep and right, so this is just leveling the covenant. Might as well give them all the tails I've got, eh? Three? No, okay. Anything no, new for me? Three of the lock stones. Those odd contraptions fashioned by human hand long ago. I've got a couple. Thou art human, and then say, mm. I know thy kind, base plotters and schemers all. Put these contraptions to thy employ against thy foe. So I guess they're all mostly traps to kill the dudes, but most of them are friendly. My servant, tell there has been much honor in thy service, despite the human blood coursing thy veins. Can I have, get a reward for the I tales? Am and trust in thee as I would any rat. Thank you. The insolent fools line up to trample upon our burrows. My servant, Dispatch these invaders, and thy reward will be handsome indeed. Oh, uh, I've already dispatched a couple. Knowest thee of the... Oh, right, okay. He's repeating. Well, I guess you need to give him like ten or something. Uh, to level up of the Covenant. Gotcha. That's a... Uh, a drop down. Let's rest at the fire first, then we'll jump down there. Right, okay, so next time we can start um, Brightstone Caldera, or whatever it's called. Seldera. Whatever it was called. We'll start that next time. Um, and I guess I might try using some of my Pharos Lockstones. We are going to... Uh... <sighs> I mean, straight up. I've got enough points to do some leveling up again and round out the episode, I guess. We made it all the way to, um, all the way to, what is it called? It was called Brightstone Cove Zeldora. Zeldora. Interesting name. But that is next episode, after we do some Pharos things. Judging by what the Rat King said, he did say use them as, like, uh, use them against your foes, half of those locks. So I'm guessing the vast majority summon something or whatever, like the spike wall, but like, it, I don't know. I don't think m many of them will lead to loot, is what I'm thinking. Uh, but that will have to wait till next time. I'm basically out of time for tonight. Uh, let me level up two more times. Um, 19,000, so I need 43. I'll level once. Bearer of the seek, seek less. We'll level once and then we'll call an episode. One final point into equip load and then I think I'm definitely going to cool off next episode onwards. We'll just start putting points in health and strength, etc. 
Um, yeah, well, thanks for joining me for this episode. We made some good progress. Uh, did I fail to a boss? I didn't, did I? I one-shot the scorpion lady, and I one-shot the rat boy. Just fucking just about with the skin of my teeth and my gems. Jesus. I think, you know what, actually, this might be the most successful episode of any Dark Souls game yet. Just in terms of lack of deaths. Um, not counting the fire shit earlier on in the fucking episode. Jesus Christ. Um, right. I thought before we signed off, I would just do one little test of, like, what I can equip and what I can't. Ideally, it'd be nice to have my club and then a backup weapon. So, can we get to a place where I can equip the shield, the staff, the binoculars, and both weapon types? Uh, yeah, 172%. Clearly, I'd need to lose another armor piece. But we're fucking close. We are fucking close to 70%. Um... I don't need the veil on anymore, really. Um, you know? Hmm. I'd like the, the item discovery still from the hat. Dude, I look awesome. Now I've taken the headpiece off. Um, I'll probably do some more rejigging on my own to figure out what the fuck. And I think before next episode, I will go and farm the desert sorceresses to see if I can get their, their clothes, because... They are the best looking in the game so far. Let's put, you know what, let's put on all the Vanguard set. I did spend a branch of yore to get it. And let's end the episode in that gear. Dude. I look like rusty colored, like it's all rusted and gone to shit. Let's get the sun on my face. 155 deaths so far. Let me know if that's good or bad. I've got no idea. The letters are worn beyond recognition. Let's have a look. Ooh, we look like a fucking badass. Dude. One hand. <laughs> you know this. I, I, this might have to be another of those just standing in the sunset thumbnails. Because if I'm in this full set, you know I've made some serious progress. Dude. Right, well, thanks for this, joining me for this episode. Like this video if you liked it. Like this video if you didn't like it. And, uh, yeah, subscribe for similar content and games and playthroughs. All my social media links are in the description. And I have a Patreon if you want to go above and beyond to support the playing of these games on my channel, etc. I'll catch you guys next time where we try a few locks in the Pharos Lockstone cave. We see what the deal is a little bit more in there. And then we will start the Brightstone Cove Seldora. I think I got that right. I'll catch you next time. Liquid Blitz. Out.